A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is the, determining the possible goods or services that will meet the need of your market. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 In entering a business, always remember that there are always uncertainties that occur, that's why you have to set yourself on what to face in reality. Entrepreneurs take a deep study on how they will know better about their potential market. Know their wants and needs including the demands, that includes the products they are looking for, and what goods and services have to be given to the customers, and how to deliver the products to the customers in the safest way not to harm them because customers are the VIP, the very important person of all the entrepreneurs. As would-be entrepreneurs, there is a need to find the right products or services for your target market. The product or service should deliver superior customer value. Determining the possible goods or services that will meet the need of the market, deals with production, distribution, and consumption functions. It is all about making choices regarding the allocation of scarce resources, to make their best possible use and satisfy human wants and needs. In determining the possible goods or services we often go through the terms needs and wants, but have you wondered about their differences? Needs are necessary. It points out something you must have for survival. On the other hand, wants are something that is a desire to possess. Refers to something good to have, but not essential for survival. For spending and saving money wisely, every person must know the difference between needs and wants. Concepts about products, goods, and services. A product is an object or system created for customer use, it is anything that can be contributed to a market to meet the want or needs of a customer. Goods are physical or tangible products that consumers buy to meet their needs and involve the transfer of ownership from the seller to the customer. Services are intangible or non-material that consist of activities, benefits, or satisfactions and do not result in the ownership of anything. The difference between products, goods, and services. There are two types of products, goods, and services. Goods are tangible because they can be seen and touched. Services are intangible because they cannot be seen and touched but you can feel them. Goods are homogeneous because they have the same kind or alike. Services are heterogeneous because they have diverse in character and content. Goods can be stored. Services cannot be stored. In terms of transfer of ownership, goods can transfers ownership, while services cannot transfer the ownership. Examples of goods are pencils and cell phones. Examples of services are plumbing and repairing. What are market needs? Market needs are the identified and unidentified necessities of the market that communicated with your business your competitors or when they search for the answer you provide. These are the named and unnamed needs of customers when they come in contact with the different business establishments or when they search for the solutions which businesses provide. In addition, providing superior customer service means meeting customers' needs by providing them with the products and services they want or by providing effective solutions to their problems. Similarly, 
Innovation comes from identifying customers' needs and providing solutions that will meet those needs. What are the types of market needs? There are two types of market needs, the goods needs, and the services needs. Goods needs. Price, markets generally set their budgets for any goods purchase. Features, markets look for features that would solve their problem and reliability in functioning while using the product. Effectiveness, the product should be useful in streamlining the process to save time. Services needs. Empathy, market sticks to brands that serve them with an empathetic attitude. Clarity, the market look for transparent information from the brand related to pricing, refund policy, etc. Communication, the market needs information from the point of interaction until the end. Determining the possible goods or services. In determining the possible goods or services that will meet the need of the market is essential to any startup entrepreneur. It is a crucial process because the concept may fail if this is not implemented properly. However, defining a product market can be challenging for any startup entrepreneur, as it takes time and requires a deep understanding of the target market. The simple truth is that no one will buy your product if they believe they don't want it or they don't need it. And you won't persuade anyone to buy what you're offering unless you clearly understand what it is your market want. Knowing and understanding market needs is at the center of every successful entrepreneur, whether it sells directly to individuals or other businesses. Once you have gained this information, you can use it to persuade potential and existing customers that buying from you is in their best interests. How to meet the market needs To meet the needs you must first identify the market needs by analyzing the conducted interviews focus group, social listening, or keyword research. It is needed to establish the identity of the market by studying or determining the conducted methods. After identification, you must distribute the information to relevant stakeholders to the group or organization. Then it must be given to the concerned individual or group of individuals to create a tailored product picture or create detailed content that sticks to the market needs or customized product to meet the needs of the market. After that creation, the entrepreneur must collect customers' feedback regularly to learn the efforts to meet their expectation learn their need regularly because the market need keeps on evolving. That's why after collecting the customers' feedback it is necessary to conduct another identification. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on determining the possible goods or services that will meet the need of your market. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ban YouTube channel.